And my prayer now when I minister places, whether I, I, I usually not this in depth, but a lot of times I'll share the story. But my prayer now when I go places is that I just want you to fall in love with Jesus. Because the point is, is that if we fall in love with Jesus in a way that we've never encountered before, we'll be forever changed. You don't have to worry about the outside. You don't have to worry about trying to get everything else in order and in line and the laws and the rules and the everything to, to please him. You don't have to worry about that. You can just be changed by love. And that's what's so beautiful about the, about the kingdom is it's very transferable. Even under the sound of my voice, you can be able to catch the winds and the sounds of heaven that can literally make you fall in love and have a deeper revelation of the love of God on your life. And you don't have to walk through what I walked through. That's the goodness of Jesus and the goodness of the kingdom is that you can receive a free revelation this morning of the love of God that I so freely, whatever I have, give to you this morning by the grace of Jesus because he's just that good. He's just that good. And so, so sometimes people will come up to me and ask me, and I'm sorry, in the South, we get a little sassy. So I'm really sorry if I, if I come, just stop me if I get too sassy. But so, so some people will in, in kindness and good hearted, you know, we say, bless your heart and we're, we're real, real sweet in the South. And, and so they'll come up to me and they'll say, bless your heart. You just, you know, I just know what it's like, you know, I'm sorry that you're dealing with anxiety. And I look at them and probably with a funny look and I need to probably be more gentle about it, but I look at them and I'm like, what, what part of 100% redemption do you not understand that Jesus gives us? What part of 100, because in the word it says who the son sets free is free indeed is free indeed. I don't care what the addiction is in your life. I don't care what the addiction is of someone close to you. I don't care if it's pornography or homosexuality or depression or anxiety or the diff or drug use, whatever the difficult ones that we deem in the church as really bad sins. I don't care what it is, no matter what the addiction is in your life, that there is a beautiful power of God that is able to immediately deliver and radically set free to where there's no more limp anymore. Now, Pastor and I were talking about the other day, when I say limp, I don't mean at all that you walk different because of an encounter that you have. That's a good limp. But what I'm talking about is when you have something, an addiction in your life, and you say, oh, I'm just making it. I'm, I'm, I'm okay, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm able to maintain it. I still get the cravings, but I, I, I just, you know, me and Jesus, we're all right. No, Jesus said, if it ain't good, it's not over. Because in Romans 8, it says that I make all things work together for the good of those that love me. And his deliverance is 100% pure. So if you have an area in your life that hasn't yet been fully contended for and you've been fully set free by or someone that you're believing for, I wanna encourage you that you can believe God. You can raise the bar up for the very best because in every area of our life who the son sets free is free Indeed, amen. Come on, let's give Jesus a hand. He's so good, he's so good.